overgrown apple tree because I'm winging it here. But I've got this thing that I got my husband for Father's Day last year, and I am gonna figure out how to get it to an apple tree it is, or if it's just crab apples or what. But um, it's super overgrown, and so it has a really bad June drop. Every year, as soon as the apples start to form, they just fall off and rot and hit the ground. I just pulled this off, and I don't know if this is a regular lichen or some kind of tree fungus sickness, but I'm going to try to clean it up really good. I know they said to take off anything that was just growing vertical and really cut this thing back a lot and see if we can fix it. Wish me luck. I don't know if you can tell from the picture, but it's much better. I clear this out a little bit. There's still a lot of little branches in the big tree that need to be sniffed, but I ended up having to take out the entire smaller tree in the back because it was just like dead and like weird hollow we um, branches on it and it was all tangled up in the pine tree behind it so even though it's fallen there's just that like three feet of stump left it's tangled up in the tree so it's gonna be really annoying to get out but I'll keep working on that but I'm gonna continue to work on this one tree that I think is savable a lot of it was like weird crispy dead but I see some new branches so I'm going to try to get it done before it starts to sprout <laughs> or bud or whatever. But um, the goats are really excited about the new stuff to play with. <laughs> and so is Ray. This is all that I took off of the trees. All of that. And I had just cut up all the branches that we had right here and stuck in this trash can. And now 